Okay, we'll make some detox pesto. Okay, so what, um, what I like to do is we'll take some cilantro and you know, it's good to add, it's good to add the, the stems. Cilantro works really well for heavy metal detox. <laughs> it's soaked to me. I hate the taste of cilantro with a passion. Okay, so let's skip cilantro in your pesto. Yeah, but like, is there anything that can replace it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> parsley. Can no. you base it? No, no. parsley is more for um, uh, it's more for drainage uh, and supports the kidneys. Cilantro is uh, excellent. I don't need that much parsley actually. More cilantro is, is better. But, uh, do we have basil? Yes, ma'am. Oh, cool. Nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. look at that basil. That is awesome. That's from my garden. <laughs> oh, is it? That is nice basil. Isn't that nice basil? <laughs> it's, great. it's not just basil. It's nice basil. It's really nice basil. Like, that's the kind of basil you want to go with. Yes. This is, this basil is hug-worthy, gratitude-worthy, they all are. Mm -hmm. All these herbs are amazingly like fresh. This tiny little wimpy basil. Mm. I could also use a little bit of holy basil, Linda. I love holy basil. Holy cow. I just happen to have some right here. But I use that capsule Holy basil is the best. Uh, holy basil, yes. Adaptogenic herb that I've tried for anxiety, breaking Everybody should smell this before we put it in. It's magnificent. Wait, do you not remember the number smell? I have that hanging in my That's what it is. That's holy basil? That's holy basil. Okay. Because I have it all around my house. One clove garlic. Okay. Holy basil or Tulsi? This is a. Can you use the flowers from the holy basil anyway? Sure. Okay. Some grated fresh turmeric. Fresh grated ginger. And sometimes, you know, to all this beautiful stuff, sometimes it's okay to add some spinach. Mm. If you would like to add some spinach to it, uh, kale makes it a, a little gritty, but spinach goes in real smooth. Okay, uh, dandelion would be great add to this. It, it's a detox pesto. Also, what is that? A, a watercress, arugula. Go for it. I mean, you you, you can make it as um, uh, bitter and detoxifying as you need. Or you can keep it on the sweet side, and you, you can always add a little bit of honey. Mm. Okay. What, what I like to do is I, um, uh, I have quinoa and uh, brown rice bread that I make toast, and then I use this. Sometimes I also make uh, avocado butter. So I, uh, I'll take a toast, I'll put avocado butter on it, and then I'll put the detox pesto on it, and I'll put tomato, mm. cucumber, veggie burger, and voila. Mm, that's <laughs> just beautiful. Avocado butter? avocado butter is just mushed up avocado, pretty much. That's I what it is. Um, I, I should say not mushed up, whipped up avocado. Okay. First you mush it, and then you whip it. Whip it good. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, oil, I like to use extra virgin olive oil. We did not have that, so Ayurvedically we can use you know, sesame oil, and uh, we can also use distilled water, not distilled water, any, any good water in it. So I'll, I'm gonna pour just a little bit of oil. A few other options to this would be, we can use uh, sprouted almonds, we can use uh, sprouted seeds. I, I like to use uh, organic sprouted sunflower seeds. I like to use organic sprouted pumpkin seeds. Those work really well. I don't really use pine nuts because the others, the, the seeds and nuts are um, for nutritionally superior. So we just use that since it's, it's a detox pesto. You're doing that? Okay. That's enough oil, I think. I'll, I'll go with the water.
That should be good enough water, maybe a little more oil. I added about a cup of water. Having some nuts in there makes it really nice and thick, but we, we don't, it, we actually ran out of almonds. You know what? I could just add some plain almonds in there without really, they are not sprouted, they're organic, but we can add some almonds. Mm, delicious. Uh, I like the size of these cups. These are smaller, yeah. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Um, this is certainly not a smoothie. This is actually pesto. This can be used with um, gluten-free pasta, lentil pasta. If you want to make a coconut curry, uh, uh, so you can actually use fresh grated coconut and add that in there, or uh, if you add that in here, fresh grated coconut, and then you add some lemongrass, some chili pepper, that, that gives it a really nice uh, Thai coconut curry flavor to it. It's spicy? Yes. I disagree. Don't think it's spicy. So please help yourself to honey and lemon as needed according to taste. Oh, and of course salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. Don't drink it yet. Let's have some sea salt. Yeah, lemon and sea salt. Yes. Thai coconut or Thai spices? Thai spices, lemongrass, uh, lime leaves. Kefir? Yes, kefir lime. So add some salt, add some lemon, add some honey if you need. I don't need honey. But bottoms up. Awesome. <laughs>